Welcome to Wonderslate. Subscribe to our Telegram channel given in the description to updates and study materials. Topic for today's quiz is Sorting materials into groups. Question number 1. All objects are made up of only one material. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option B. False. The statement is false. One material can be used to make different kinds of objects. Examples. Wood can be used to make dolls, chairs, tables and even ships. Question number 2. What happens when water is added to kerosene? Option A. Water floats above kerosene. Option B. Kerosene floats above water. Option C. They both mix well. Option D. Kerosene reacts with water. The correct answer is Option B. Kerosene floats above water. Kerosene forms a layer above water when both the liquids are mixed and left to settle for some time. This is because the density of kerosene is less than that of water and they do not mix. Question number 3. Which among these is lustrous? Option A. Stone. Option B. Wood. Option C. Gold. Option D. Plastic. The correct answer is. Option C. Gold. Luster is the property which imparts shine to a substance. Metals generally show this property. The metals we generally see are copper, iron, gold, and aluminum. Question number 4. Out of the below mentioned properties, which is the most important when making a hammer? Option A. Heat resistance. Option B. Luster. Option C. Hardness. Option D. Softness. The correct answer is Option C. Hardness. The properties of materials are the key factor while making objects intended for a particular use. Steel is used for making hammers as metals are generally hard in nature. Question number 5. A block of wood was placed in the path of light. It completely blocked the light to form a shadow. This is because wood block is underscore. Option A. Transparent. Option B. Translucent. Option C. Opaque. Option D. Conductor. The correct answer is. Option C. Opaque. The materials through which light cannot pass are called opaque. When light falls on an opaque object, some part of the light gets absorbed and the other part gets reflected back. Question number 6. Out of the following options, which group of substances is made from the same material? Option A. Switchboard, shirt, socks. Option B. Switchboard, chair, bench. Option C. Shirt, chair, pillow. Option D. Shirt, pillow, socks. The correct answer is Option D. Shirt, pillow, socks. Switchboard is made of plastic. Chair and bench are made of wood. Shirt, socks and pillow are made of cotton. Question number 7. Which of the following will sink in water? Option A. Kerosene. Option B. Inflated football. Option C. Petrol. Option D. Rocks. The correct answer is Option D. Rocks. Anything which is less dense than water will sink in it. From the given options, petrol, kerosene and inflated football are less dense than water and hence will float on it. Rocks are generally more dense than water. Hence, they will sink in it. Question number 8. From the given options choose the criteria for sorting substances based on appearance. Option A. The object is a conductor of electricity or not. 
Option B. The object shines or not. Option C. The object is soluble in water or not. Option D. The object can be compressed or not. The correct answer is Option B. The object shines or not. Materials usually look different from each other. When we look at the objects then we find that some objects are shiny and some are not so shiny. That's because they reflect light in a different way. The way that these objects reflect light differently can be attributed to a property called luster. We choose shine or not in this case because that is the only criteria that judges appearance. Conducting electricity makes no difference in the appearance of objects. The solubility of a certain object cannot be defined just by looking at it. Similarly, whether an object can be compressed or not, cannot be determined simply by looking at it. Question number 9. Which among the following substances is the hardest? Option A. Wood. Option B. Cheese. Option C. Iron. Option D. Plastic. The correct answer is Option C. Iron. Hardness is the property of a material to risest deformations. Out of the given options iron has the highest amount of hardness. Question number 10. When oil is spread on paper, which of the following are true? Option A. Objects on the other side of the paper can be seen clearly. Option B. Objects on the other side of the paper appear more bright. Option C. Objects on the other side of the paper can't be seen. Option D. Objects on the other side of the paper can be vaguely seen. The correct answer is Option D. Objects on the other side of the paper can be vaguely seen. When the oil is spread on paper, the paper becomes translucent. So, objects on the other side of the paper can be vaguely seen. Question number 11. Which of the following parameters are most important when choosing a material to build something with? Option A. Properties and uses of material. Option B. Age of material. Option C. Origin of material. Option D. Color of the material. The correct answer is Option A. Properties and uses of material. For using a material to make objects, we need to know its uses. Also, whether the properties of materials meet the requirements for its use, such as structural strength hardness melting and boiling points question number 12 among ice water kerosene and petrol which do you think is heavier option a ice option b kerosene option c petrol option d water the correct answer is option d Water. Water is heavier than the other options. Ice, kerosene and petrol float on water because they are less dense than water. Question number 13. Which among the following materials has luster, is hard and opaque? Option A. Rubber. Option B. Wood. Option C. Tin. Option D. Plastic. The correct answer is Option C. Tin. Objects that do not allow light to pass through them are called opaque objects. Objects that allow light to pass through them are called transparent objects. Rubber, wood and tin are opaque. Rubber and wood are not lustrous. Tin is hard, opaque and lustrous. Question number 14. The mercury used in thermometers has luster. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. Mercury used in thermometers is the only metal that remains a liquid at room temperature. Since mercury is a metal, it has luster, 
Question number 15. The objects which do not allow the light to pass through them are called Option A. Opaque. Option B. Transparent. Option C. Transitional. Option D. Translucent. The correct answer is Option A. Opaque. Opaque objects do not allow the light to pass through them. Example Wood, gold, etc. Transparent objects allow the light to pass through them, while translucent objects partially allow the light to pass through them. Question number 16. The property of a material which allows light to pass through it is called underscore. Option A. Absorption. Option B. Adsorption. Option C. Transparency. Option D. Solubility. The correct answer is Option B. Adsorption. Transparent materials allow light to pass through them. For example, glass windows, lenses, etc. Question number 17. Which among the following will float on water? Option A. Needle. Option B. Pieces of iron. Option C. Oil. Option D. Stone. The correct answer is Option C. Oil, stone, pieces of iron and a needle will sink in water because the density of these objects is greater than that of water, unlike paper. Since oil is lighter than water, oil will float on water. Question number 18. All metals are lustrous in nature. Option A. True. Option B. False. The correct answer is Option A. True. The property of an object to shine under light is called luster. All metals are lustrous in nature. Question number 19. We use knives made of steel in the kitchen. Why do you think steel is preferred? Option A. Steel is hard. Option B. Steel is flexible. Option C. Steel is shiny. Option D. Steel is soft. The correct answer is Option A. Steel is hard. Steel is preferred because of its hardness. Due to this, it can cut almost all the materials used in cooking. Question number 20. If opacity is the distinct feature of wood, then what is glass known for in the same way? Option A. Its transparency. Option B. Its magnetic nature. Option C. Its thermal conductivity. Option D. Its luster. The correct answer is Option A. Its transparency. Opaque objects are those that do not allow light to pass through them, whereas transparent objects allow light to pass through them. Therefore, wood is an opaque object, but glass is transparent in nature. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz then download the Wonder Slate app now, link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.